So this is the menu bar application that we built. And all I did was add some Tailwind UI to it so that it looks a bit nicer. So if I now share a site, we got this in the list here, and then I can click on it and it will open my site in my default browser. Now, as you can see, I removed the disconnect button because what I want to build now with you is the ability to add a context menu to this item. So right now, if we right click on this, we just select this text because it's selectable, like it is in a regular browser. So first of all, let's disable this. So if we head back to our editor, then this is how the HTML now looks like. As I said, it's really the exact same functionality, just different styling. So what we want is for these list items, I just wanted to find that this is not selectable. So select none. And if we save this and right click, okay, the text no longer gets selected. Great. Okay, so um, in order to add a context menu to this list element, let's add a click listener for the right click. So on this a tag, what we can do is we can just define an at click dot right. And then we want to open the context menu for the given site. So let's add the method to our view component. We receive the site in here. And then we can build our context menu. So a context menu is a special object that we can use in Electron. So first off, we have to create such an object. So we have a menu, which would be a new menu. And as you can see, this is inside of Electron menu. So let's see if this gets imported automatically for us. Um, yeah, so it tries to import it from Electron itself. But as we are in the render process, we need to import it from remote instead. So what we can do is const menu and menu item. Just pull this out out of the remote module that we have here. Okay. So we create a new menu. And then we can append menu items to this menu. So what we can do is we can say menu append new menu item and this menu item has a label which would be disconnect it has a click listener which would be this disconnect site and then the site that we passed into our context menu okay and then we just need to tell electron where to open this context menu. So we can just say menu pop up. So it should pop up at whoop, the current window like this. So let's save this and give it a try. So we share a site, right click and there it is. So we now have our little context menu. And if I click it, the site gets removed and disconnects because we built this in the last video. Okay, great. Let's add some more items to our menu just for the sake of completing this app. So I not only want to disconnect, but if I share a site, I only see the the original URL that was shared, I can see the shared URL, but I can't access the local URL. Um, and I can't access the dashboard that expose uh, brings with. It. So let's add menu items for this as well. So I think the first menu item would be something like open local site then we could either write separate methods in our component for this 
like we did here, or we can just do this in line. So basically what we want is when we click on this, we want remote shell to open external site, what do we call it? Um, uh, local URL, like this. Then we copy this, and next we would have something like open dashboard. So this would be dashboard URL. And just to complete this, um, maybe instead of just listing it, so you can click on it, um, maybe click on the disconnect button, even though you don't want this, we can add a separator here. So in here, we could just add a new menu item of the type separator. Let's save this, share site. And now if I right click, I have this nice little context menu with open local site. Let's try this out. And open dashboard. Okay, open dashboard, that worked. Open local site dimmed, I guess because the URL does not contain the protocol. So as you see, this is just the host basically. Um, so let's do something like open external HTTP and then the site local URL. Let's try this again. Oh. Share site. Open local site. Okay, that works. Open the dashboard. Works as well. If I just click on it, I got the tunnel. And if I disconnect it and try to refresh the tunnel, I get the 404. Okay, great. So this is how you can add context menus inside of the renderer of your application.